Hi friends, I got the email that you wanted to do a Flipgrid for Teacher Appreciation Week, so I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video for you so that both of you know how to um, do that. So the first thing that you're going to do is set up a free account, and so you'll just use your Lakota email and then create a password, so that part's easy to go ahead and start. When you log in the first time, you'll see a page that looks like this, and what we're going to want to do is to add a new grid, so I'm going to come down over here. And then we have some options here for creating our grid. So, for example, we might do teacher appreciation. Okay. You don't have to do the goals and things here, and this was just giving you um, the code for people to access it. And we'll use that later so we can just keep going. Okay. This part requires a password um, in addition to your code in order to access your grid. Um, when I've been doing this in classrooms, we've not set a password in addition to the code, but that's totally your choice if you're worried about somebody kind of going in and adding things to your grid. Um, if you're going to publish it out, like maybe through Cheetah Mail or something, you may want to consider doing that um, just so that people can't go on and add things to the grid. It is just like kind of out there to be viewed, like a view only. Um, so you may want to consider leaving it like that as you're recording throughout the school and then adding that part and then having a password that you come up with um, once you go to publish it um, within the community. And like I said, I'm not sure if you're planning to share this with parents and things outside the community or just in in-house with the staff. So that's kind of what's going to make that determination there. So for the rest of this, you can go ahead and leave everything the way that it defaults. Okay, you can get an email notification every time that a new student video is added. If since you guys are controlling this grid, you may want to turn that off so you don't get even more emails than you normally do um, into your uh, email box. Then we're going to make it active. So at this point, so like you can make it active to go out about the school and record the videos of folks. But then if at any time you want to, you can make it inactive so that no other videos can be added. So it's just another way, kind of like the password, to control um, whether things can be added to it or not. So you can choose to add something here. I'm going to choose this one because that looks like me on Mondays and Tuesdays. And then we're going to go ahead and create the grid. And that's all we have to do. So the first thing that we're going to do, so we've got this place to house everything is we're going to create a topic. And so this is the smaller part that goes on. So your grid is kind of like a giant bulletin board. And then these topics are like posters with the little post-it notes on them that are going to go on here. So if you're going to do teacher appreciation as one giant one, then you could just make this one teacher appreciation again. If you were going to break it down by grade level, then I could break it down um, like that. So what I'm going to do is all of this defaults to exactly what you need it to be. Again, this part's optional, so you don't actually, just kidding, on this one it is required. So I'm going to say um, Cherokee Cheetahs love their teachers. Okay, and then they can click on to hear more about that. We're going to leave it active. This defaults, so we'll leave it there. You can actually leave this all the same. All of that, none of that needs to be changed. Okay, so this is the part to kind of think about. So this part allows students to add stickers or drawings onto the um, flip grid that they create, and I'll show you how to do it with that, but here you can determine if you want none, drawing only stickers or a combination of both. That's totally your call. Okay. Emoji reactions. This is kind of like Facebook likes. If you want to allow viewers to be able to like or do an emoji reaction, so depending again on who your audience is, if it's teachers, I really wouldn't worry about it. If it's going to go out to other students or into the community, you may want to disable that particular feature just so that, you know, no little kiddos are getting their feelings hurt. If somebody puts a sad face or a mad face or something, that would be negative onto that. Okay. Um, We'll leave it public for now, and then, like I said, we can work on, you know what I mean, if you want it to be something that's private just in-house or if it's going to go out to the community or not. 
Okay, and that's it. So we create the topic. Now this is the code that's really important because that's the code that people will use to be able to um, access this. So if you're doing this yourself, you're already going to have it logged in and it's not even going to be an issue because you would just have it logged in and go around and record the kiddos talking. But then let's say that you got interrupted during the day and you need to come back in later to do it again. That's always going to be this UKCO3C is always going to be the code that you use. Okay. So and this will take you to the full grid this will take you to just the topic. So the way that I have this one set up, this would take me to te all the teacher appreciation grade levels, and then this one would take me just to teacher appreciation for second grade. You don't have to break it down that way. Like I said, you can just do, you know, one all together, but that's, that's totally up to you. So I'm going to click got it. Okay, and we're going to go in now as a kiddo. So I'm going to open up a new window so you can kind of see what it looks like when you're doing it with kids. Go to flipgrid.com. On the iPads, and actually that's the easiest way to do all of this is on the iPads, um, but on the iPads you just click the um, icon for the app, which is just a green plus sign. So we're going to enter in that code, and this is that code for all of the topics like I was showing you before. Enter it in. Okay, so this is teacher appreciation. So if I had a grade two, a grade three, a grade four, a grade five, or I could just do teacher appreciation here, like 2017 18 school year, and this one would be good for everybody. So this is the one I'm going to go into now to show you. You just click on it. And then anytime you want to add one, you just click the plus sign. Okay, wow, well, there I am. So what you're going to do is, um, You'll notice up at the top, there's four different steps. This is step one, so you're going to record your response. To record, you push the camera button to start, and you also push the camera button to stop. So you'll notice here it's telling me my audio level, so if I talk too loud or too soft, um, it may not pick up as well. So you can kind of keep track of that. What else is nice is there's a timer because students are limited to a minute and 30 seconds to do their video. Also, you'll see a circle that goes around that fills in as we're recording, and you can also tell from that how much time that they have left. So I'm going to go ahead and start to record my video. You'll see the countdown. Hey everybody, I want to share with you why I love being a Cherokee cheetah and why I love my teacher. And then of course, then I would go on and on to tell all the amazing things that the teachers here do. And then when I'm finished, I will go ahead and click the same button again. Okay. Now at this point, if I've already screwed up, which, you know, like make a mistake, I can go ahead and click the trash can and start completely over. But if I'm ready to watch it to see how it goes, then I can go ahead and click this green arrow to the next. So what you'll see happening here is the, pre the preview back of what the video is. If at this point I notice I don't like it, I didn't do as well as I wanted to, I could trash it at this point. If I'm like, boom, that's good, I'm ready to go, it's the most awesome video ever made, then I can click on, and you'll notice this is step two, so now I'm on to step number three. Step number three says to snap a selfie, and the reason is that becomes the thumbnail that people click to be able to view the video. So I'm going to do my selfie. Okay, so there's my selfie, and then I have stickers. This is the part we're talking about. So I have stickers and drawings available, so you can choose to do that um, if you want to have the kids have some time to add on to theirs or you can choose not to it's totally up to you there's animals here I don't know if there's a cheetah I don't know that I've ever looked um, we'll just do this guy he can sit on my shoulder it'll be great okay so once I do that once I click here I can't go back again so my video is completely done I can't go back and redo any of that work now, once I snap my selfie, once I push this green arrow, I can't go back and make any more changes to either of those two things. So I want to make sure, really sure that I'm comfortable with everything before I click the green button. So I click it. Okay, and this is the last step. I enter in my first name and then just my last initial. I never let kids put in their last name. All of these other parts are optional, so they don't need to add anything. So just Kelly S. And then I submit my video. Okay. It tells me it loaded correctly, it's all good, it's complete. And so then, when people go on, they'll be able to just click on here, and my video will pop up. Hey everybody, I want to share with you why I love teacher. And it really is just that simple. Now, if I go back to the teacher tab, OK, 
okay I think I need to refresh on here okay there's the video I just recorded so you'll see it on there so there's a couple ways that we can share so my individual video has its own codes I can share just that one if I just want to send that one I can share it and again this will only take you to the Kelly one the other thing that I can do is I can share all of the second grade one and now this is the link that I would share to share it with all the second grade folks and then ultimately I can go out to the, the highest level which would be all of the different videos that were for every grade level and I can share that so that's the reason why there's three different codes you can share the entire grid you can share just each topic or you can actually go down to each individual student's video so um, you let me know if you have any questions and hopefully you find this helpful to get you started for your teacher appreciation video um, which I actually think is an amazing idea because as a teacher there's nothing that means more <laughs> than having your little people um, tell you what a good job you're doing and how much they love you so all right let me know if you need anything